Once that is done, I need to vacuum. And in theory, this should be ready for the new furniture. I need to sort this out. Because this is not wiring. This is definitely not wiring. I don't even know why this one is like this, but it's definitely not. And I've got some weird stuff in here. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Welcome back. Yes, we're working on the beamer. Today, hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to remove the seats. Now, the problem that I have with the seats, well, back, front, it doesn't work. So it's stuck basically in this position. Meaning, I can only remove the front bolts, not the back ones. So what I've done, I removed the front bolt. There's a plastic piece over here. You just remove it in order to access something over here which is basically this one yep this one stuck over here so you've got both two in both sides as you remove it there you go I can tilt the seat so see it was here and there now that gives me access to the inner workings of the seat is that solving the problem no not yet now what I'm thinking I've got my jumper pack I think if I can introduce some power to this motor, I might actually be able to move the seat forward. Hopefully. Look what they did to this one. Why would anyone do this? That's just insane. Anyways, let me jump it and see how that goes. Sadly, this theory didn't work out. So I went caveman. I removed the bolts over here. It's a torque uh, spec, I think torque 30 or something. And this one became loose. As it became loose, this is basically the part that connects to the rail and spins, you see? As it spins, it goes forward or backwards. So I got it out of the rail from this side and this is the other one from the other side. Now, officially, the seat, in theory, should roll forward. One can only hope. I mean, yeah, it does-ish. How far? I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, check. Let me see if I can just push this one forward and remove the seat. Yep, I managed to remove the driver's side. The trick is, once basically you remove the engine assembly, the motor assembly, you need to put this one back into the groove and keep spinning. As you spin, it moves this one forward and that'll give you access to the last screw. Sure. Let me do that and after that, the seat should be getting out. See, I just want you to see it. So I just spin this and as I spin it, the rail moves forward. Slowly but surely, see, it's moving. And once it reaches this point, I'll have access to the last bolt. Hoi. A few moments later. Check it out. No front seats. No back seat. No trims. This is the last one that I got and I still need to remove. Two bolts at the bottom, size 13. Yeah, 13. There it is. Once you remove those two, then from the inside, from under, it's loose. That leaves it from the outside up over here i do believe there's some sort of a clip you need to insert something over here in order to release it that way you can remove it out once that is done i need to vacuum and in theory this should be ready for the new furniture i need to sort this out because this is not wiring this is definitely not wiring i don't even know why this one is like this but it's definitely not I've got some weird stuff in here. Definitely need vacuuming and cleaning. But for now, I'm just gonna take a break. We'll continue later. We finally removed it. What a bear. Now, pay attention. 
this part this is the annoying part that holding you back see just to show you see in each side let me just get this each side there is this clip here and this clip from the other side so basically you need to get the screw inside a long uh, screwdriver and pull those two inside in each hole in order to be able to get it out good luck with that good luck with that here's what i've done this is a cover you can unclip it and as you unclip it there you go it has tabs and all nothing broken and you get it out as you get it out you'll end up with them being here yank this one so remove the bolts from the bottom and up your way yank it as you yank it you get it out and they stay in place not broken no nothing i mean this one is broken but oh well then with the screwdriver you just push those tabs and get them all out and as you get them out i mean it definitely needs two hands but you get the gist there you go you get it out and you put it back into the actual clip and that's it now they're officially out time to vacuum and this is after vacuuming not bad the dirt the dust the animal hair unbelievable but at least now it's clean and it smells clean me likey now we can put the new interior inside once we get at that let's turn our focus on something else this i need to remove this one and this is the one that i got from the boot that i bought you can clearly tell it doesn't have screws only those two clips see how to work it out with the trimming tools or or maybe as some people said a credit card or something something thin like this you slot slowly shoving it in in order to get access as you get access you just grow the access and remember the clips are one here one here so over here you just need to be wary of so i'm gonna start slowly shoving this one inside because i don't want to ruin the paint the paint is actually a pretty good neck and after that i'll get it all out so you have that goes removed and the grommets they're still here i'm not gonna even bother remove them there it is and it has some double-sided tape nasty one if i may say so but we got it out now i'm using wd-40 to soak it in and hopefully that will clean it up but check this one out muck fit yep this is the lip it's supposed to go over here look how the color match perfect boy it sits well so i just need to basically work on it but yep hopefully we can get those two done today soak i'm just gonna go get me a towel just to wipe it up and see how that goes voila yes installed and i put some double-sided tape as well to ensure that it sticks and also i put this one remember when i told you guys don't put the sticky tape straight up on top of it this is what you need to do get a piece of it fold it on top of each other that forms this see it's not sticky so this is where you put it over here for example and put the tape on top of it that way this area will be protected that's it once this one dries enough i'm gonna go and add a bit more silicon just to ensure that it's properly sealed and properly closed but for now i just need it to stick into place that's gonna look good it's gonna look good so what have we done we got rid of everything changed this and added the lip the spoiler one more thing i do have another badge i need to stick it's somewhere here i'm not sure where yep i got the m badge it's supposed to stick somewhere here or here i think maybe here 
I don't know. I'm just going to put it here. Yep, I'm going to put it here. And that concludes the video for today. Short and easy. If you like what you see, stick around until next episode. Hopefully we'll have the red interior ready to be inside. Until then, you take care of yourself. Yeah.